7 FM, and of course, Mark Williams here, taking it all in stride way back 1975. Mark is in that actually a good friend of mine. He really, really is. Uh, funny story about one of his songs, uh, Show No Mercy, <laughs> and myself. Uh, but I'll tell you that another day. Right now, I want to welcome everybody along that's joining us live on Facebook Live. And uh, excuse me, I'm just putting a device in the right place. Nice to have you along, uh, and nice to have you back again before we were, of course, talking to our good friend Joel Lee coming out of British Columbia. Today, for the very first time, Galaxy's never been here before. We're in the Canary Islands, and we're talking to Rock Flowers, believe me. You know his music, you request his music, and we're going to get to the skinny of it. But first of all, let me tell you how excited we are to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, Sony Music, The Orchard, here. At Galaxy. Another Indie Artist and You brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and Sony Music Theatre Watcher. And without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Let's introduce you to Rock Flowers and Solaire. Solaire, so that gives us a couple of minutes to um, get to know each other. I see Franco's on board right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, anything you want to say to Dad? <laughs> yeah, I was just talking to him earlier, so. Okay. okay. I'm loving the artwork behind you, my friend. Who did that? Uh, this is me um, right here. Just uh, some stuff, you know, that I like to do on my uh, free time, uh, just different ways of expression. Okay. Um, these, no. were, these were done with some people, just even at my house, uh, just, you know, just coming together. I really like, you know, bringing people together and always creating no matter no matter what it is, whether it be music, art, just conversation, you know. I get uh, that. Okay. I get that. My, my wife is an artist as well. She does some um, abstract stuff, if you know what I mean. So believe me, I'm loving Hi, what you've got behind you. I really, really am. Thank you, that's great to hear. Yeah. Having said that, we are going to get into talking about Solaire very, very shortly, and uh, I will be having questions coming in from people from all around the world. They want to know all sorts of stuff, so, uh, well, we're not going to ask you if you're married yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, not married yet, yeah. <laughs> Irie Priest is online. Yes. Nice. Nice to see the brother man coming out of Kenya. Yes, no, yes really. absolutely. I've got a lot of respect for Ari Priest. I really, really do. Especially what he does with the boxing girls. Yes. Brilliant. We're going absolutely. to introduce him to Franco. Um, he's a um, reggae artist that comes out of Nairobi. Is it Nairobi? Mm -hmm. It is Nairobi. And uh, he teaches young ladies self-defense. Boxing. Wow, that's super cool. Oh, yeah. I've been to Nairobi once. Uh, it's a very beautiful city. It's very... It was a very beautiful experience. I was in Kenya uh, about five years ago now. Wow, um, wow. Yeah. I, I love that country. I've been there myself. Uh, we did tours through there at one stage. And, uh, well, in some parts of, us, uh, of Africa, i got to admit, my friend, we've had, we had armed soldiers with us, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely dangerous. Let's go live and have some fun. <laughs> Right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 14 after 11 o'clock, 22 degrees. I win. I knew I was always going to win this morning. Barbara's 16. Yeah, a little embarrassed, but not as bad as the weatherman's 14 degrees. Knew that was going to be a loser right from the start. It's Monday, July the 4th here in New Zealand. Going to be a big day tomorrow over in the United States. It's Independence Day. 
Yeah, what's the fireworks going there? Today we're joined, and believe me, I'm really, really excited about this, folks. I really, really am. We're in, yeah, the Canary Islands. We've never been there before, and we're joined today by Rock Flowers. Nice to meet you, sir. Welcome to Galaxy. Nice to meet you, too, brother. Thank you for having me. It is an absolute pleasure. It really, really is. Want to pass love on to Franco as well, uh, you know. Uh, and speaking of this, uh, before we get into the uh, the questions about Solea and stuff like this, I'm loving your T-shirt. You've got a uh, Music for Love shirt on. I, do, I sure do, yeah. Music for Love representing um, all the way, 100%. You know, we do too. In fact, we run one of Sonny King's ads. Uh, well, actually, our production team sort of bodged something together, and we've been running this ad for a couple of months now, promoting Volume 1 of music for love great great artists and great great sounds on this 29 i think different artists on there believe me go and get yourself a copy you can't go wrong and guess what it's, it goes as a, as a, a, a masterpiece of an album i think i mean it's very it's very something that you really can't find out is so uh, i recommend everyone to check that out if they have some time absolutely and of course uh, the famous sonny king has done a lot of work on that album hasn't he of course, yeah, 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 hundred percent, yeah. Yeah, we love Sunny. We really, really do. So now that we've spoken about the Music for Love uh, album, and please go and check it out. They're on all the platforms. The money goes to charities. Literally, they build schools, they build libraries. They, you know, it's where it's needed in places like Kenya and uh, Uganda and even well, Jamaica even. Believe me, go and check it out. It's, uh, it keeps growing and growing, and it's just going to keep growing most likely in the next couple of years. It's just uh, just the beginning. Yes, and we're very, very excited to be a part of Franco's uh, projects as well. We really, really are. I'm very humbled to be a part of it as well. Now, Rock, we opened up the show with Solea. Tell me a little bit about this. What? Uh, yeah, Solea was, uh, was a song I wrote last year, actually. Um, I wrote it when I first got here to, to the Canary Islands. Um, basically, I mean, for me, Sola was was just a way of, exp of expressing uh, this special way of female, uh, son, uh, I wouldn't say uh, goddess, but just this uh, kind of entity. And uh, the sun is obviously shining here often, and so uh, it was basically just a kind of a, 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 a song of love to the sun, really. And that's how the, the, song, the song was born. In terms of writing, the, the chords, the guitar chords were, uh, I just came up, uh, came up with the chords and then I worked with, uh, with Stefano uh, De Donato, who was a music producer who uh, also, you know, basically produced uh, a lot of the music for uh, Love album as well. Uh, I worked with him and, yeah, finished the song and I put it out last summer. Uh, it wasn't really promoted or anything, so it, 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 it didn't really move as, as I would have pleased, possibly. Um, then again, you know, it's 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 just a part of the step in, in making music, releasing music as a somewhat independent artist. At the end of the day, being part of a small label that that is still growing and, and, and still has a lot of potential. Well, I got to let you know, thirteen hundred and thirty-seven requests since we've been playing it here at Galaxy. It's starting to pick up momentum. People are starting to listen to it and want to know a little bit more about it. So believe me, so I go and check it out. It's a fantastic yeah, really. track. Really is. Where'd you get it recorded? What studio? I was recording it at a, a, a small, really small studio here actually. I don't even remember the name. I think it's called Monte Cristo. It's a small studio here. Um, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, was a short, it was a really short session, uh, like 20 minute session. I remember I was in and out. Um, yeah, and uh, that's why I recorded it here in the Canary Islands. That was the only song, I think, that I have that released that, that was recorded here, absolutely. I've only, I've only released three songs, so yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, there's a lot of music coming on the way. A lot of cool, really cool music. So if people like what they've been hearing for now, they will be, I think, very uh, happy about some new stuff coming out this, this summer and, and this fall. Well, that makes me excited because I'm kind of hoping that maybe, just maybe, Rock, you might want to come back and uh, tell us about this music coming up as well. Oh, absolutely. No, I, would, I would love to. I would love to. There's a lot of exciting projects coming. Um, 
I'm really, I'm really, I'm really excited about the next couple of months. I think it's going to be, it's going to be super special. I'm super excited. Now, I, I have a young lady coming out of Alberta, Canada. Her name is Tracy, and she's saying, "How, as a fan, Rock, do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talker? But more importantly, Rock, do you respond?" I, I, I. Uh, if, if, if right now the best way to get a hold of me for any people that enjoy the music is uh, on Instagram, just at Rock Flowers, uh, they can easily find me. I'm I'm, very, I'm fairly reachable. Uh, if people you know text me, shoot me a message with a thing about a song, or if they like a song, if they have a question about anything, I I, I do respond. Yeah, uh, I'm not a, I'm not I'm getting more into the social media thing, and I try to you know have my space with that as well because I I, I do see how it, sometimes it can be a bit um. You know, uh, I wouldn't say uh, toxic, but you know, you gotta you gotta do it, use it with a certain dosage. I feel like, but yes, absolutely. I'm I'm on uh, I, um, on Instagram is the best way to reach me. I tend to use that platform mainly for right now for my art purpose. Um, and uh, yeah, Instagram absolutely is the best way to reach me right now. Uh, Twitter I have as well, but it's not as it's great right now to to reach me by there. So I would say Instagram for anyone that wants to reach out, any uh, fan, any other artists, any. Uh, anyone, really, uh, feel free to, to reach out to me. <laughs> I fully get it. In fact, I have people do that for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not on that level yet. Yeah. Uh, no, believe me. I, I just never have the time. Well, honestly, I really, really don't. Uh, because okay. uh, I get 5,000 Facebook fans. If you go, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> you deal with yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I feel you. Uh, Jill Fire's watching. Nice to have you on board, Jill. Uh, love, love, love in the past where you gave us the other day. Really, really am. Moreover, I'm loving the brand new song that you brought out. Lady, I can't wait to catch up with you and Kevin very, very shortly for an interview to talk about it. Uh, also watching is Chris Andreas. Hello, brother man. Nice to have you on board. Ari Priest. Hello, my bro. I won't stop talking. You know me. <laughs> Literally. Uh, believe me, there is people from all around the world want to know all sorts of things. Now, uh, I have a young man. His name is Peter. He comes from Dunedin here in New Zealand, down the South Island. He wants to know, Rock, if I want to buy merch from you, do you have a website? Where can I go to buy stuff? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, I have a, I'm actually working. I'm actually going to start working on my website this week. That is on my agenda. Uh, I do not have merch right now. Uh, I will have merch. I will have. Uh, I do plan on having even simple, more simple merch. I plan on uh, hopefully in the next, uh, I would say, year having a, having a merch drop and, re and with my album releasing as well. Maybe some hoodies, some T-shirts, some some pants. So yeah, uh, uh, for people asking that. Uh, it's it's on the way. It's all it's all on the way. It's all in the it's all in the in the agenda. So the website will be up and running soon. Uh, rockflowers.com. That should be hopefully uh, up and running in the next two weeks. And then when it comes to merch and any clothing as well, that will be in the next couple of months. That will be available. Well, Rock, I, I kind of hope that uh, down the uh, track when you do get a bit of merch, just something in the back of your mind says. Hey, send something to Grant down here in New Zealand because, believe me, oh, you know, are you we'll with get, me? We'll get, the, we'll get the full care package. Very, very cool because I tell you, this actually works subliminally. Uh, people go and have a look at what I'm wearing and then they get on the interwebby thing and before you know it, uh, like, Absolutely. young Cassandra, are you with me? Seriously, believe me, go and check her out. You got it. Uh, and they do, they go and buy stuff on the interwebby while they're watching the interviews that we do, so uh, I, I, it's all about promotions, you know what I mean? Absolutely, yes, I agree. And taking advantages of the chances that you can get. Uh, yes, love you guys. Uh, Jill Fly, thank you very much. Uh, but believe me, I want to talk about riding your bike. Uh, I haven't ridden a bike for a long time. Why should I go and ride my bike? Uh. Well, so uh, anyways, it's funny you ask. Uh, that song was it's probably the oldest song, one of the first songs I ever wrote. Um, that song I wrote, I remember I wrote in my college dorm, and the reason I wrote that song was because we would always ride our bikes to practice. Uh, I was a swimmer in college at university, East Carolina University. So I there for about two years, and I was a swimmer, and we would always ride our bikes everywhere, to college, to, you know, everywhere, from, 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 from swim practice to you know uh, college parties, we were, we would ride our bikes, 
And so one day I remember I was just sitting, walking down the street, and I was just with my friends from university, and I just started singing that song. And then actually funny, it was just, I remember I went to the dorm, uh, made the beat, the original beat, which is fairly similar to the, the one that re was released, and uh, then made the song, yeah, and, uh, and then I ended up recording it again in Florence, uh, changed the beat up a little bit with Stefan, released the song, and yeah, it ended up doing you know really well on Spotify. I mean, really well. It, it was it was moving, and yeah, uh, it was yeah, it was a very it was a very simple song. I, I'll be honest with you, it wasn't this huge. Uh, you know, it was very simple. The, the writing for I think I wrote that song again in ten minutes, and it was the first kind. Of, it was just a little. It's very, for me, my creative process is very, it's always, it's never I sit down and, and look at them to create, it's just a 24 seven thing from when I'm dreaming to, uh, to when I'm awake. It's always, I'm always in a very creative flow and, and, and just looking for inspiration in everything. I mean, really everything. And obviously, you know, Ride, Ride Your Bike, that song was the beginning of, of me making music, really. Uh, that's when I started actually like, okay, I wanna write songs and say something and tell a story. So that was about two years ago. So I'm still very, you know, very new to, to writing songs, writing music. Um, and again, I have so much music unreleased, which is why also sometimes I, can, I just can't wait to, to release a lot of this music. I'm really release my uh, my debut album, uh, release uh, O Vision, which is a project that Music for Love uh, produced um, as well. And that's going to be super exciting. So yeah, the, the, the three songs I feel like that people are listening to, uh, reflect just maybe one of the hundred shades that I, I kind of make and I kind of I, I think people will see for themselves that, that's the best way I, I feel well I gotta let you know Rob 2183 requests and climbing for Ride Your Bike here is Rob Wales <laughs> If you know what I mean, and believe me, we're in every country in the world. In fact, yeah, I mean, that's that's a lot of people asking for that song. Wow, I mean, that's one hundred and seventy-seven <laughs> countries are tuned in right now. That's awesome. That Shout really is. Show, man. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope, hope, uh, yeah, hope everyone's feeling peaceful and, and enjoying their day, well, whatever time it is, whatever, whatever moment in the day they're going through. No, I see what you say. Nice. 229 cities are tuned in right now. So literally, Rock, you're a superstar. You're being heard in every country of the world. Literally, every English-speaking country of the world anyway. Awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you. 2,229 cities of the world. Wow. Fantastic. Love, love, love those stats. Really do. Um, I, uh, you may need something to drink after this. I don't know. <laughs> You've got something, a little bit of vino in the background. Yeah, I don't, I don't have, uh, I don't have much to drink. I have some uh, Solan de Cabras water. If you want to give me a sponsorship, they can. <laughs> Get on ya! I like that. That's good thinking. Believe me. Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if they're interested, they can reach out as well. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. There you Very go. Good. Yeah, we're up with sponsorship as well. You know, we yeah. don't actually promote a lot of alcohol. In fact, we mm. don't promote any alcohol because nobody gives us any. Because <laughs> yeah, that's water. I want that new Heineken beer. Hundred percent water. <laughs> it's got nothing mm -hmm. in it. It sucks. Gosh, didn't Clayton's do that in the, originally? I'm you know, not sure, you, no. it's the drink you're having when you're not having one. Yeah, yeah I guess I most probably be able to drink it then. Clayton's. Clayton's, yeah, they were the first, weren't they? Yeah, thought so. Yeah, I thought so.
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 29 minutes after 11 o'clock, 22.4 degrees, not too bad. Uh, what time is it over there? Uh, it's 12.30, 12.30 a.m. 12.30 a.m.? Yes, sir. Hmm. i got to thank you for staying up so late, but yet again, at the same time, you're an artist, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, you know. I'm, 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 uh, uh, it's not too late, not too late. Well, I appreciate it anyway. I really, really do, especially speaking to us down here in the Antipodes. Uh, now, I do have a young lady. Her name is Rachel. She's coming out of uh, San Diego right now, and she's saying, Rock, when are you coming back to America? When are you going to be doing tours, uh, maybe Canadian-American tour? Have you got anything like that in mind? Um... As of right now, I have no idea, if I'm being 100% honest. I would like to put out this album. My goal would be to get this music moving. Also, the music that's coming out, and I think that, that that will open a lot of doors for possible tours in the U.S. and uh, the European tours. I know that right now, realistically, uh, a, Euro a European tour is, is probably more likely than a U.S. tour, but, uh, you know, I, at the end of the day, I grew up in the U.S. Uh, I lived, you know, I'm 22 years old right now. Uh, in case people don't know, I I grew up there. I lived most of my life there, so it's it's a, it's a place where when the time is right, I, I want to come back, and, and I do hope to to go back to there to make music, work with people, and also go on tour and and play live. Right now, I'm 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 gonna spend the next couple months as well perfecting my craft in terms of live. I, I really uh, I really believe that I, I want to be able to go live in in, in different kinds of settings. I want to also have a band. Uh, maybe just go live me and a DJ, and go live me and a guitar, and maybe another couple uh, band players. I want to be very versatile in, in, in my, how I go live. And so I think that now uh, my main focus is, is getting that ready and then being able to play shows and start and starting to play shows around here, playing shows in Italy, and then slowly building up. Uh, I haven't really done many live shows. I've probably done three live shows in my whole life. So uh, it's something that... Uh, that I need to definitely perfect my craft, or not perfect, and there's no such thing as perfection, but work on my craft a bit more to, to, to I want to be able, when I go live, I want it to be a, a truly a, a, an experience for who comes and watches, not just a concert, but a, an experience and something that they haven't seen before. Just by the energy that is transmitted, that, that is my goal, is, is music to me is energy, and, and the most important part is, is transmitting that energy as well to other humans. You know, uh, I respect that. I really, really do. Now, having said that, uh, I know Franco wants to come to New Zealand. He's been here a couple of times already, uh, but he wants to bring some uh, artists with him. Just wondering if you're going to be on the plane. We would love to be able to put you on New Zealand stages here uh, in front of New Zealand audiences. Would you consider coming to the activities? I would absolutely consider coming there. Yeah, uh, if, if, I mean, absolutely. I've never even been. I've never been around that part of the world. So, coming in, uh, down under, as you guys call it, right? Well, uh, we're a little down underish than Australia. Let's put it that way. Uh, okay. We're a little bit <laughs> past them, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I don't know how the, the rivalry is between New Zealand and Australia. So. Yeah, well, it's a football thing. Rugby union. <laughs> Rugby union. <laughs> Believe me. Yeah. Uh, not a soccer thing, and not a, an ice hockey thing like the Canadians and the Americans, uh, but believe me, uh, or even maybe not even cricket. We, we don't do too bad with cricket with the Black Caps, but we... No, 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 no. Rugby, I mean rugby as well, no? We have the All Blacks, and we oh, consider them that. pretty much the best in the world. Unfortunately, uh, uh, we lost the last World Cup simply because there was a typhoon in Japan. We were done okay. out by the Duckworth system, I think they do with the cricket as well, uh, which was appalling because rightfully we are the best in the world. Australia hates it. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet. Yeah. I remember when I was little, I was I was growing up, I was watching the, the Haka, is that what it's called? The Haka, yeah. The Haka, yeah, that, that's pretty scary. I, I imagine, you know, being watching that is, is pretty intimidating. Well, you know, it is part not only of our culture, but also of our game, you know what I mean? So uh, believe me. It's, it's, it's really cool that they incorporate almost dance and singing in, in, into a sports event. 
Well, you know, uh, we, we we respect our heritage. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And important. any chance that, you know, expose a little bit about our country and our heritage, we'll take that chance every time. Literally, we really, really will. And we would love to show you around a bit of New Zealand while you're here in New Zealand as well. Uh, so, Franco, make sure awesome. that he's on the plane, okay, bro? Thank you. <laughs> Maybe he could do a Galaxy song. Uh, your dad saying maybe we could do a, you could do a galaxy song. I'm, yeah, I'm up for I'm up for everything. I'm uh, I'm very creative, so I, I don't see why not. Yeah, I don't. I tell you what, I'd be very appreciative. Uh, and I've got to be honest we with you. Uh, I met a couple of. I'll put, on, I'll put that on the list. Yeah, let me. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do something for you, yeah, for sure. Nice. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, a number of years ago, I met a couple of heavy metal bands, one coming out of Norway and one coming out of Canada. I introduced these guys together. We celebrated a New Year's Eve together, and these guys got really sourced. I've got to be honest with you, they really did. Uh, so much so that I put a challenge to them through the night by saying, do you remember the, um, the Charleston? Da, 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 way back, about a hundred odd years ago, it really, really yeah, was, was a, a dance that, that went a to a song, but yeah. the song, more He's importantly, was a tune. I said, I, I dare you guys, you heavy metal guys, <laughs> to include a bit of this music in there, right? This was maybe about yeah. nine o'clock at night. Uh, we finished the night about one o'clock in the morning, went home, I came back the next morning to clean up. These guys are still talking to each other. Wow. I'm not kidding. Still in Canada. Still, well, actually, the guy in Canada was asleep, and the guy in Norway's going, wake up, <laughs> which was true when I walked in. Uh, but they both said to me, Grant, can't do it. Just can't do it. Can't bring ourselves to do it. But, yeah. but they did I come out. Uh, they did come out. against metal, metal culture a bit. Yeah, well, you know, the challenge was, you know, come up with something original. So, you know what? They came up with a Christmas song. Fantastic. Absolutely blew it out of the park. I've got to be honest you, with you. Have you made a uh, Christmas song? Yeah. 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 Interesting. And it worked. It really does. In fact, I'll get Barbara to send you a copy of it. Okay? <laughs> Literally. Yeah, yeah. The, the only thing is it won't sell a dime. It really, really won't because I'm introducing it on the video. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the only handicap on it. Other than that, the music and the song itself, fantastic. But the challenge is still there for any artist around the world. If you can come up with just a little bit of the Charleston in your next song, let's see how it goes. That's crazy. Double dare you. But in the meantime, I want to talk about Solicity. What is it? Who is it? Where is it? Why the hell is Solicity at our breakfast show every morning? What makes this so popular? I think that song is very, I would I personally think that song is just funky. Uh, it's, it's very funky and I, I think it's, it's catchy, the, the hook is catchy. That song was written, uh, if that song was not even supposed to happen, that song was, the beat for that song, the, the music for that song was like, a, was, was, was going to be for a, a video like background video um, music, and then I heard it. I was with I think I, I was with Stefan. I heard the the bass, the bass. He just had the bass for it. The song wasn't really arranged yet, and I heard the the bass line, and I just wrote. I think I remember. Yeah, I wrote a song basically to the bass line only, and then we got, we we started adding stuff in the you know violins and you know synths, piano, uh, guitar. There's a part with the, there's some acoustic guitar on it too that gives it a really nice touch. I think the song is catchy. It's uh, it's an up tempo song. People like to dance, um, so I think that's probably why you guys are getting so many so many requests from all over the world for it, uh, which is cool. Which is cool. I didn't even know about any of this stuff, so that's that's really cool to hear. And um, I gotta let you know, my friend. Uh, as I say, we can't get through a breakfast show without playing this particular track every morning. And so far, you're at four thousand seven hundred and fifteen requests and climbs exponentially every day ladies and gentlemen the track of the week here at galaxy is solicited here's rock flowers <laughs> that's fantastic bro 
Yeah, it's very, it was, uh, it's very, it's a very great, I, I, I like that song, honestly. I, I tend to not really like music once it gets a bit old um, for me, but as songs, but that's a song that I, that I still, that I still enjoy and that's, when I listen to, I still, still vibe out to. So, yeah, it's good. I'm, again, it's so, so cool to hear people from all over the world, uh, you know, resonating with it and, and, and wanting to hear it. That's, that's, such, that's such a cool thing. As I said, we have so many countries, so many cities from around the world that tune into us on an hourly basis. It is just incredible. It really, really is. Um, I wouldn't want to buy them all a beer, let's be honest, but I appreciate their feedback. You know what I mean? And that's what yeah. structures a lot of our music. And this one is going through the charts. It really, really is. Now, we don't call our audience an audience. We call them our audio audience, if you know what I mean, not fans. Um, and we actually call them the noise because it's growing exponentially every day. You know what I mean? Um, we used to call them the army, but, well, no, that denotes something violent. and We don't really want to be a part of that in any yeah, way. Absolutely. So we, we renamed the them, rebranded cool. them That's cool. the noise. That's, that's, yeah, keep growing always. Well, I tell you what, when I go on stage, the first thing I say is, where's the noise at? And that just goes off. You know what I mean? So uh, believe me, it's nice to have the noise. Everybody is part of the family. You really are. Don't forget, subscribe. You know what to do? Yep, like. Get, get epileptic on Facebook, you know, on uh, YouTube, yeah, and notifications when we have important people like uh, Rock Flowers joining us. Um, we're going to wrap it up from here, but please don't go anywhere because uh, we have a number of staff here who want to take photos. You'll get a copy of everything, by the way. Um, Barbara is going to put it all together and make a movie out of it. You'll be able to share it with your friends. Moreover, share it with people you don't like, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Show them me. Uh, and then we're going to also make it into a cartoon for you, okay? Cool. Now, uh, after this as well, I want to talk to you about putting you into a magazine in India, if that's okay. It's about promoting you, okay? Magazine in India sounds great. Nice. In the meantime, thank you, bro. For joining us. Thanks for staying out. What is Solicity? Who is Solicity? That's the questions I've been trying to get out from the man himself. And you know what? I think he's keeping it close to his chest. I really am. You're going to have to find out for yourself. Uh, Rock Flowers, thank you so much for joining us here at Galaxy in New Zealand. It's been such a pleasure. Now, uh, will you come back again? Will you release more music with us? Absolutely. Absolutely. I have... Uh... I have a couple projects coming up. I have a couple singles coming out at this, at this uh, end of this month. First single for my uh, debut album, I'm Always Searching for Freedom. Uh, second single will come out a month after that. Uh, and then we'll see what, what, what else, what else uh, is going to come out. But uh, a lot of stuff coming out. So it's, I'm super excited. And again, once that music is out, you guys will be the first, first to know and get that flowing around the world. I, I absolutely love that, my friend. I really, really do. And, well, uh, now that you've had an interview with us, I've got to welcome you to the Galaxy family, and we're going to be watching your career very, very closely as it goes through the years. And I think you could be very much poised to be one of the next great artists of the music industry. I really have that feeling about you. I'm an engineer myself. I appreciate that. I really, I, I really do uh, respect those words, and... Uh... And uh, I, I appreciate coming from you because you're someone that knows a lot about music and uh, it means a lot. It means a lot. It uh, really does. Well, believe me, I'm an engineer myself. I've been an engineer for almost 40 years, about 37 years now. Uh, not only doing recording studio stuff, but also doing front of house and touring with some of the biggest bands in the world. And believe me, my friend, it's not often that I find a band that takes my imagination, takes my interest to want to follow up on stuff like this. So uh, I am such, such a very humbled man to be able to speak to you today about your music and new music coming. Uh, hang in there, my friend. Uh, George, 
George Poppett's joining us. Nice to have you on board, George. We're about to close this one out. And Franco, thank you for joining us as well. Everybody else, including Jill Fye, such a pleasure to have you on board. Looking forward to seeing you again in a couple of days. And believe me, we've got some very interesting artists coming up next Wednesday. But in the meantime, Rock Flowers has joined us here at Galaxy. And let us tell you how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Records, and of course, Sony Music, The Orchard, here at Galaxy. Another Indie Artist Interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music The Watcher.